honestly, my computer sucks, my phone sucks, my computer meaning my laptop, my editing software sucks, my lighting sucks, everything sucks, like, it's really difficult to film these videos, um, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm not that savvy technically, but the reason I do put them out is because if I would have had the support or if I would have known 10 years ago, maybe it would have helped me. So I kind of use that to maybe help other people, if applicable, if not, whatever, you know. And also, it's interesting now, as I look back, to see, based off the first month or two weeks before starting T, just how much progress that I've had. Because when you get caught in your everyday life, day by day, you get stuck with work with life family routines we get carried away and we don't realize that we are progressing and it's important and i'm here to really just say that i'm progressing i don't feel like i am but even now just looking back at the second video that i took you know it's insane so kudos to you you made it and here we are um, so I'm basically gonna take some extra film and see if I want to edit it together during top surgery and if you're seeing this right now that means hey it made the cut and I'm probably fucking miserable in my bed not able to do anything right now so there's been a lot of stuff that's happening with top surgery that I knew it was gonna be a couple of videos worth but I haven't put it out there because I don't want to jinx anything and the way how things have been going the past couple of months, I can't even afford to think that something could not happen. Because I didn't literally get the approval as far as, like, work until yesterday. So, this has all been, like, as much as I've been trying to talk to people about it or, like, raise money or, like, visibility because I do need it. Like, I also don't want to put it... I didn't want to put it too much out there in case of it getting ripped away from me. Like, I guess I was trying to put an emotional guard up because it's so important to me and it's such a big deal to me that I couldn't stand to think of the idea that I could possibly not have it. Which is kind of, thinking about it now is kind of crazy because the reason I came out when I did and everything else was because I'm getting married and you know I feel like a lot of the times we have these dreams and we have these visions and we have these these wants within ourselves but we always put them on the back burner and we never push ourselves to go forward with it I'm guilty of that I do that all the time I'm doing that right now and you just get so carried away with your routines and your life that you don't realize that you're guilty of it and sometimes I feel myself doing that because I think you know I really want something and I do really want it but then I have to take a step back and you know kind of rationalize with myself one is it worth it two is it realistic you know and then you kind of think of all these things and you're unintentionally talking yourself out of it or maybe intentionally talking yourself out of it that way you don't have to go through with it now is even with my transition i felt like when i was coming out i would think of anything possible to try to get out of something an example i have cyst in my ovaries i have pcos so maybe it's just that's why i have higher hormones maybe i don't need to transition maybe that's all that it is maybe xyz and then you kind of just build off of that and it keeps going. Like, you can literally talk yourself into anything. And the thing is, is nowadays, with the support that we have, it's really easy to feel alone. And it's hard. And that's where I was feeling for a very long time. I didn't know how to ask the question because I didn't know what that question was. I didn't know anything that was happening. So, you know looking back at it now I see all the signs as far as everything makes sense but going through it, it it was a struggle and you know I had a lumpectomy in about this time like three years ago uh, and it's 
really hard. It's a little triggering to be thinking that I'm going to be going back under, going through surgery, going through everything else when I could have gone through it at that time and wouldn't have to be worrying about it. Now, granted, at this time, I was engaged to someone who was extremely transphobic. If I would have ever told her that idea, I probably wouldn't be alive, honestly. But, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm not going to get too much in depth with my transphobic ex because they don't deserve that. But it does make you take a step back and realize like, hey, even though it took me longer to get to where I am, I'm still where I am. And that's important because your progress is important. So I've been having a lot of problems, a lot of battles with figuring this all out. And the fact of the matter, what it came down to was... You know, I only want to get married once. That's my priority. And I want to be able to enjoy it. Like, I don't... That's not so... That's not that big of a deal. Like, I want to be happy. You know? So that's where doing this and pushing for surgery and pushing for my name change and pushing for everything. It's kind of why it's happened sooner or faster in comparison, I guess. I've had a lot of people approach me and they're very surprised that I'm getting it so soon. And then I've had other people that had thought I had it, which is sweet, awesome. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, we bind ourselves every day. Not everyone feels the need that they have to have surgery, but it's not easy. What we go through isn't easy. And surgery to me is not only going to help validate me personally and get rid of my dysphoria hopefully and get rid of you know certain struggles that i deal with so i don't have to fight myself anymore hopefully i can start living the life you know that i meant to be doing as i am this leads me to my question as far as why is it such a priority so fast and not so much why is it the priority, is why is it happening so fast? Why do you need to do it? I had so many family members just like, slow down, it's okay, like you'll figure it out eventually. You know, and I get that and I can respect that because I do understand it. But in retrospect, it comes to a point in time where I've spent 27 years of my life in a closet battling with myself. You know, I want to finally feel comfortable after all that I've been fighting through. Even though it is a lot of changes, yeah, sometimes changes are good though. But the biggest, biggest thing about it, why is it happening so fast? Which, honestly, when you say that to me too, it's kind of like, I'm not offended, but it's like, why would you say something like that? Because, you know, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, so, basically... Why is getting surgery so quickly a priority for me? The honeymoon, one, amazing. It's gonna be awesome. We're going out of the country. I'm gonna be traveling out of the country. That's a big deal to me. I've traveled out of the country multiple times, not really phased by it, but what I am phased about is that, you know, I had problems with TSA traveling domestically in October. I was just going to New York, and it was a big deal. Like, they started some problems, it made me really uncomfortable, and I, I love traveling. Like, I love it, like, that's the one thing that I will do a lot of. I don't like drinking, I don't like going out or doing anything, but I will go out and travel. Like, that's my, my fun spot, whatever. But it... They made me so uncomfortable that I did not want to do it again. And then I was like, wow, dude, like, how crazy is it that we're going to put our needs or wants on the back burner, which happens a lot, because we, you're making us feel un uncomfortable. Like, I've spent 27 years of my life being in that closet and being uncomfortable. I'm not doing that again. Like, that's not happening. So, of course, traveling internationally the obvious you can think of getting pat down whatever blah 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 but yeah sometimes you're okay that's not the problem well what about binding for eight plus hours traveling internationally carrying all the bags doing that i don't want to pass out i don't want you know i and then it comes so there's a lot of different aspects that come to it and i mean ultimately 
it comes down to enjoying myself. If I'm not able to breathe and I'm holding on to everything and I'm worried about TSA or customs or, the, you know, my safety. I mean, honestly, it all comes down to safety. If I'm worried about all that, then I can't enjoy the honeymoon, which is the whole fucking purpose of it. And just to piggyback that off that, you know, the main other reason why it's such a priority quickly is because of the wedding day. I mean, everything that I said for the honeymoon is applicable, but getting married, that's going to be the most important day of my life, like hands down. And I want to enjoy it and I want to be comfortable. I don't want to have to st stick around being like, oh, you know, oh my God, like, are my, are my straps showing? Like, is this like happening? Like, you know, because if you see it, like, it's pretty, I mean, this is pretty, it's pretty restrictive. And even sometimes you have these lines, you know, and plus it makes me just work too. Like, I can't wear certain things and then I have to worry about this and if my shoulders get bigger, it climbs up. One, I don't want to worry about that, looking at it in photos. I don't want to be reminded of it. I don't want to do anything second of all. I just want to be comfortable. I mean, it's as simple as that. I want to be comfortable in my own body. And it really, of course, dysphoria, gender dysphoria, feeling, chest dysphoria, everything, that's been a big triggering point to want to get surgery done. But the fact of the matter is that I'm getting married and I can't prolong that. So that's why getting surgery done ASAP was so important. And it worked because I'm going to be getting it tomorrow. Less than 24 hours, officially. Um, so many people have been asking me who my surgeon is. And you know what? I'm not telling you. And I'm not telling you because I, like I said earlier, jinxing, whatever, whatever the fuck. And obvious, not obviously, honestly, in the state that I'm in, I have had such trouble with surgeons because there's surgeons such as Dr. Garamon or Sasani or whomever the fuck that only care about their and I didn't want to get too big into that before surgery because I'm very intuitive, but they put me on the back burner for a really long time because they knew that they could take money from other people instead of fighting it with my insurance, specifically Sasani. Garamon, of course, they don't take insurance, whatever, they have payment plans, whatever the fuck, but why would they take payment plans or insurance when there's hundreds of people that are going to go surgery, go to them and pay full price? But whatever. Um, as far as Sasani and everything else, I had problems with them because they told me they didn't take my insurance, but Aetna would cover it full coverage. Then when I told them I was going to get Aetna, they stopped talking to me for a couple of months. And then they tried talking to me again when they thought I was someone else. And it was just really unprofessional. Um, and if they were giving me that many problems prior to surgery, prior to everything else, I didn't feel comfortable with having them do something so important to me. So the fact is don't settle because I only pay 25% of my top surgery. My insurance is covering the rest. And I, for a long time, put myself on the back burner. I didn't believe it because of tons of people that I reached out to that said it was impossible. You can't do it. You can only pay $7,000. You can only do everything else. Don't fucking listen to any of them. Like, seriously, I'm here to tell you that it's possible, and if you need help, like, I'll help you. Um, I've had a rocky experience as far as getting in and getting everything with insurance covered, blah, 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 matching this, doctors, typical stuff. But the fact, at the end of the day, is that insurance is covering 75% of it, and that's what I want. So... I'm still not saying who my surgeon is yet until after the procedure, until everything looks good, but you know what? I'm off to go get something off my chest, so I'll see you later.